For insurance purposes, we were instructed to make arrangements for the Caribbean hurricane season running from July to November. Option one was to leave the Caribbean. Option two was to lay up for the season in a designated hurricane hole or area in the Caribbean deemed safe if a hurricane passes. My husband and I decided to leave the tropics and head north to the east coast of America. This video is part one of several showcasing our journey from the American Virgin Islands on up to the eastern American state of North Carolina. The first leg of our trip was from the American Virgin Islands to Puerto Rico. In the American Virgin Islands, we anchored off the island of St. John's to pick up our newest crew member, Kyle Martindale, who flew down from Connecticut. Kyle introduced himself to me through my Sailing Britican Facebook page, stating that he had a month off and would love to help us make our way up to the States. After a few messages, plans were made for Kyle to join us. So my husband, Simon, my daughter, Sienna, and our new friend, Kyle, set off from St. John's in the American Virgin Islands to our first stop being San Juan, Puerto Rico. The day after Kyle's arrival, my husband and I woke around 5 a.m. to lift anchor, so to arrive in Puerto Rico during the daylight. With an estimated 12-hour sail, the 20 to 25 knots of wind behind us propelled us forward with ease. We told Kyle to sleep in, it being his first day with us, but he was up early helping Simon to adjust the sails. As we made our way northwest, we all enjoyed getting to know each other. It was a relaxing sail with relaxing conversation. Once we made it to the Puerto Rican coast, we were all gobsmacked at the sight of such a large city. I can't remember the last time Britikin pulled into an island housing so many buildings. As far as the eye could see, the coast was full of high rises. And to our delight, as we rounded into the San Juan Harbor, we passed a most impressive fort that we later discovered was named El Moro. Keep watching to see images and videos of El Moro. Puerto Rico was originally a part of the Spanish Empire, but in 1898, during the Spanish-American War, the island was invaded and taken by the United States. Puerto Rico is now a commonwealth of the United States, but there's a current push for a joint resolution from the United States Congress to become a state. As you can imagine, some argue for statehood to ensure prosperity for the island, and others argue against for fear of a loss of Puerto Rican identity and culture. Needless to say, it's the most visited island in the Caribbean, and I can definitely see why. Here is the 16th century Spanish citadel called El Moro. These next few clips are our journey from the entrance of the harbor and on up to the San Juan Bay Marina, where we stayed for two nights. After a good night's sleep, Kyle, Simon, Sienna, and I were eager to get out and go exploring. Here are some of the amazing sights we saw.
to leave San Juan with our next stop being Grand Turk. Thank you, San Juan. Thank you, Puerto Rico, for having us.